Now arrange daughter in such a way that all the vowels are together. So you have to consider all the three vowels that is A, U, E has to be always together. So how to do this one? You have eight knots, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and just combine these three slots which you are going to fix it for the vowels A, U, E. Now you can consider all the consonants of the single slot or single event and consider this as a single event consisting of three vowels. As it is mentioned that they have to be always together. So combine all the three. So whenever you move this elsewhere, suppose it is to be moved in the middle, it will be moved all together as a single slot. So anywhere you move is going to be moved as a single slot. So now how many slots are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Therefore 6 factorial ways are possible to arrange this. And then this A, U, E, though they are together, but I did not say that it has to start with only A. It can be arranged in different ways. So, three letters can be arranged in three factorial ways. Now, the next question is, arrange daughter in such a way that no two vowels are together. So, no two vowels are together is, all the vowels are separated. So, how to do that? Sometimes you may feel that you can consider this entire thing, 8 factorial minus taking out wherever they are together that is 6 factor into 3 factorial that is 8 factorial minus 6 factor into 3 factorial but this is wrong. The reason why it is wrong is you are removing wherever these 3 are together but I say all the 3 vowels to be separated it is possible that some of the place you may have A and U together E separated or U and E together A separated or A and E together and U separated. So those things are not removed from this. You are only taking out wherever all the 3 are together. So you cannot do it in this way. Let us see for the other method. So here what you can do is as they have to be separated the consonants don't have any condition only the ovals has to be separated. So initially for the consonants put this 5 slurs and arrange them in 5 factorial ways. And then for the ovals the positions in between the consonants and the extreme ends can be taken. So how many positions are available now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 positions are available for vowels and there are only 6 positions, 3 vowels. So how many ways are possible to arrange them? As I said, whichever is larger will be n, smaller will be r. So it's going to be 63. So it's 5 factorial into 63. So this permutation combination can be used even for the numbers. If you are given digits from 0 to 9, the 10 digits are given, how many 3 digit numbers can be formed? Here, you are now going to repeat any other digits. As 0 to 9, the 10 digits only are given. So, once you use 1 digit, that cannot be repeated to the next slot. So, how many ways are possible? Now, the same thing. First, fill the first slot with any of the 9 because 0 cannot come there. Imagine one of the digit, like for example, let 4 be the one which is selected for the first slot. Now, the 4 cannot come in the remaining slots. And now you have 9 left out digits and all the 9 can come because 0 also can come here. So, 9 ways are possible to fill the second slot. And now let us take 7. If 7 is selected for the second slot, now the balance as 7 also cannot come here. 4 is already selected, 7 is also selected and the balance what you have is 8 digits and all the 8 can come here. So, this is a multiplication. So, 9 into 9 is 81, 81 into 8 is 648. Now the next question is out of the 648, how many of the numbers are even and how many of them are odd? So how to find that? When the repetition is allowed, that is when you use all the digits, you had totally 9 into 10 into 10, 900 three digit numbers. In that how many are odd and how many are even? As you are seeing that 0 to 9, there are 5 even numbers and there are 5 odd numbers. So, to find the even numbers, the last slot has to be filled with any of the 5. It can be 0 or 2 or 4 or 6 or 8. Again, the same thing, the first one 0 cannot come, the remaining 9 will come here. And the middle slot can come, uh, can have all the 10. So, therefore, you have 450 as even numbers. And how many of them are odd? The same thing because you have 5 odd digits. All the 5 can come here, 9 here and 10. So, you have 450 odd numbers. But in this case, there is no repetition of the digit allowed. So, slight change will be there. If you had to find the odd numbers, it is easier as you have 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. 5 odd numbers, any other 5 can come here. Out of this, now that 5 is selected, this cannot be repeated. For the first slot, 
out of the 10, 5 will not come, 0 will not come. 0 also cannot be taken in the first slot. So, the remaining you have 8 of them. So, any one of the 8 can come here. Suppose 3 is selected here and 6 is selected here. Now, the 2 digits are gone. There is no restriction for the middle slot. So, any of the balance 8 digits can come here. So, this is going to be 8. So, the total is going to be 8 into 8 into 5 which is 320. These are the number of odd numbers. So, odd numbers is easy which you can find out. How about the even? So, one way of finding is 348 minus 320, the remaining is going to be even, that is 348. But using this permutation method, how you are going to find this? Three slots are there, the even digits are 0, 2, 4, 6 and 8. If you are going to select one of this and fill that in the last slot, this is going to be 5 ways. And if suppose 2 is the one which is selected here, so you will not have this 2. Other than 2, you have 9 digits, 0 cannot come in the first one. So, the balance, all the 8 can come here. Now that the 2 of them are selected, imagine again here, a 3 is selected. So, 2 digit goes, balance any of the 8 can come here and this is again going to be 320. But what is the mistake here? As I told you here, odd numbers are 320 and total is 648. When you subtract this, you are going to get 328. So, there is some mistake which you have to correct here. What is that mistake? This particular place I said, the last digit, if you are taking 2, then this process is okay, there is no mistake. But what if instead of 2, 0 is selected? When you select 0 here, let me write this again, there are 5 ways to select the first slot. You are selecting 0 here and out of the 10 digits, 0 is taken out and all the 9 will come here and then balance any of the 8 will come here. So, you can see the previous case, this was 8 because 0 cannot come in first slot. And now it is going to be 9. So, what will happen is there is a clash here. Because of 0 which can come or cannot come here. If 0 comes here, it is going to be 9. If 0 does not come here, this is going to be 8. So, in that case, you cannot combine all the 5 and do this. So, what you can do here is remove the 0, keep only this 4 or keep only 0, fill the last slot and then do this separately. This is not only for the numbers, wherever you have a clash, that you have to do it separately and then add it. So, when you have only 4 of this even numbers instead of 0, this can be filled in any of the 4 ways. Imagine again that 6 is selected here. So, 6 goes from this, you have balance 9 digits, out of the 9 digits, 0 cannot come here. So, the balance 8 digits can come here. Again, take that one of the digits is selected here. So, 2 of them goes out of this 10 digits and any of this balance 8 can come here. There is no condition for the middle one, so all the 8 can come here. So, this is 8 into 8 into 4, 64 into 4 is 256. Now, the other one which you have to add with this, the last slot we have taken only as 0. So, it is only one way to fill this. Now that 0 is gone out of this, the remaining all the 9 are eligible for the first slot. So, fill with any of the 9 here and 2 of the slots are filled with the 2 digits, remaining you have only 8 digits and all the 8 can come here. So, the product of this is 72. When you add these 2, it will be 328. So, now you have 320 plus 328 which is equal to 648.